As elite sprinter Mike Rogers starts to run faster, he takes more strides per second, and his stride lengthens. Elite sprinters can do this, leaving the rest of us in the dust, because they hit the ground with much more force. At top speeds, Rogers hits the ground with more than 700 pounds of force. How does he generate that much power? The Locomotor Performance Lab at Southern Methodist University is taking a careful look at Rogers' running form with a force-sensitive treadmill and high-speed cameras. When Rogers runs slowly, he hits the ground like the rest of us do, with a basic catch and release mechanism. When graphed, those hits make a gentle, slow curve. But at high speeds, he uses his legs like a piston, delivering forceful hits that make quick contact with the ground. It takes a high knee and stiff ankle into the step to create force like Rogers. So if you want to sprint like a pro, think like a piston. For Scientific American, this is Dina Fine Marin.